Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Emerald Adventure. I think we should take on the gym. I think that's going to be my next plan of attack here, so... Uh, Sig will probably be the uh, Pokemon that might not be the best for this gym. Uh, because if you haven't uh, figured it out yet... Uh, we, first of all, this is a doubles gym, so the gym leader will actually be a double battle. The Mystic Combination. If you can't tell from that, this gem is going to be a Psychic Gem. So, obviously Pokemon that are weak to Psychic moves, which is Breloom in this case, may not be the best. But I'll definitely bring him along still, or bring her along still, because she can still probably do something. At least against some of the weaker uh, members of this gem. Uh, let me just uh, let me put these two together. I at least want to see if I can get uh, Braylon to level 41 anyway. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Rob? The gym leaders here use Psychic type Pokemon. If you go up against them with Fighting or Poison type Pokemon, they'll inflict horrible damage. Plus, they'll come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you'll need to show them how tight you are with your Pokemon. Go for it. Okay, so uh, the... Uh, basic uh, gimmick for this gym is you have these buttons which will shift the arrows around so if we do this double battle battles hinge on the strength of your spirit the weak spirited will never win the roads you have traveled what you have experienced come at me with everything you've learned Okay, so Preston and Mara. So you have Curlia and Kadabra. I'm not really sure which is weaker. I'm going to assume maybe Curlia is more fragile. Not that we'll really be able to tell much since... Yeah, we just one shot them all basically <laughs> I lost I must temper my spirit again you've traveled a path of greatness thank you I like to think that I have anyway uh, and if you go over here these are just basically warp panels so uh, you can get that going I'm trying to think if I can get a double battle between... I should be able to get two sets of double battles here. We'll try it. I may be past my prime, but I suggest you not patronize me. Let me show you how perfectly awful horrifying time. That does not sound like a good time. So, gentlemen, Clifford and Hexmaniac's Kathleen... Ooh, Girafferig and Kadabra. I'm gonna have uh, you go after Girafferig and you go after Kadabra this time. Thankfully this battle should be over before Future Sight attacks me. That is true, Kadabra is faster than Curlia. Ah, you overflow with the power of youth. No! Actually, I just realized something. I shouldn't have done this because... Yeah, I think these two were supposed to be fought together. Because <clears throat> I think if I... <clears throat> Excuse me. I think if I move right here, I'll just face the trainer on the bottom. The trainer at the top won't come down, because that could make the gym unable to be, like, you know, finished. You're not getting through the end. Not if I can help it. Okay, so I just went the wrong path. Not that it matters. Like, I'll still get the same experience, pretty much. It's just... Again, I wanted to take out these double battles, like, together because it'd take less time overall. So 
ludicrously strong. That's what they said I was. Roar! Have a taste of my super Pokemon hard battling power. So we have Nicholas. Oh, Wobbuffet. Okay, well, let's hopefully I can get this guy down before. I did not want to use strength, though. Thankfully, it didn't matter. Okay, that's good. Phew. Didn't want to deal with freaking Destiny Bond. If I go down here... I think I want to do this. Just so I can get through there. And let's see what this does. Okay, so I don't want to do that yet. Aha! Are you still level 40? You are. Well, we'll have a double battle, so you'll probably not be 40 after this. Uh, let me uh, move Kip here, then. Because I do want to give uh, Kip some experience, too. Let me see your talents. Ho, ho, ho. You need me to show you how tenacious the psychic type can be. Psychic types are pretty, uh, pretty intimidating, that's for sure. So we have Spoink and Ralts. This should be a very easy fight. In fact, let's actually do, what can Muddy Water hit both? Yes, it can. Okay. Um, doesn't really matter, I guess. I want to say Spoink would be more dangerous. How did Ralts avoid it? Now let's quickly finish this off. Okay, Sig, level 41. Unfortunately, I can't really get through here. Aha! So let's do this. I guess I'll put DT here. Even at the risk of life, I will win this battle. When you lose to me, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not that you're weak, I'm just too strong. So we have Sylvia and Hannah. Metatite and Curlia. So Metatite's probably going to once again use Protect. Actually ended up not doing it. Now I wish I would have tried to actually finish it off though. <laughs> Ooh, hidden power. Whatever it was, it was super effective. Could have been fire, could have been ground, could have been fighting. What you do, it horrifies me. You're just too strong. Okay, so we got rid of you. I don't know if I want to go up there yet, that because that seems like that might go to the ending of this. I'll verify. I believe this is the case. Yeah, I'm not ready for you two yet. 
Well, let me do this. Let me go back to the very beginning. I want to say this is the only fight I haven't done yet, so... I think this is pretty much it. Okay, we'll see if we can get Kip that one level I wanted to give him. Foo 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 foo, watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically. Roar! Sometimes I'm out of sync. <laughs> I see it, I see your future. If you can beat me, I will tell you your future. Sounds like fun. Blake and Samantha. Another giraffe rig. Again, trying to think of like who would be like the bigger threat here. Frickin' future sight. And see, even if like Zatu does faint, like the future sight attack will still go through, so. Hopefully we can finish this up before Future Sight comes into play. Also, Wish. I believe that move, like, grants HP, like, if they survive for long enough. There we go. My Pokemon battling skills are out of sync too. I surrender. Indeed. Okay, well I think that's all the trainers here, so we are capable of going to the end now. What I'm gonna do is, this is the team up I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Kip and Dark Lord. You're probably wondering, why these two specifically? Well, you'll find out. Hee hee hee, were you surprised? Foo 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 foo, were you surprised? But there are two gym leaders. We're twins! We don't need to talk because we can each determine what the other is thinking all in our minds. This combination of ours, can you beat it? Okay, so here we have Tate and Liza. <clears throat> now, I believe uh, this gym leader is actually a lot easier in Ruby and Sapphire because they only have two Pokemon. But uh, here they actually have four, so this battle will take... I don't want to say significantly longer, but it will take a bit longer. Uh, so first up we have Claydol, which is the evolved form of Baltoy, and we have Zatu. Uh, I'm going to use Surf, because uh, Baltoy, or Claydol is part ground, so that'll help. And uh, for Dark Lord, I'm going to use Shadow Ball on Zatu, just to get rid of it. As quickly as I can. Now I do know that Kip will, oh god, Cl I was not ready for that. But, that only... Wait, I thought... Does... Oh, Duskull might get a new... He might get a new ability when he evolves. I may have forgotten about that. Because I believed... I thought Duskull had Levitate, but maybe Dusclops doesn't. It does gain feet, I guess, so it's not too surprising. But either way, that didn't do too much damage. But uh, as you might expect, they do have the uh, combination of Soul Rock and Lunatone for their second uh, forms or their second Pokemon. And in uh, Gen, in Ruby and Sapphire, uh, they just have Soul Rock and Lunatone. So they gave them a few more Pokemon to work with here, as you can plainly see. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can just get rid of you actually of course earthquake again ooh that was a crit too oh oh no oh damn 
All because of that damn crit, too. That's annoying. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of who I want to use here, honestly. I guess Sig. Uh, I know it's... I'll use Sig, even though this is not a bad combination, because, again, it's Psychic. And Breloom's part fighting, but... Again, I just kind of want to get rid of some of these Pokemon... Let's do this to get rid of you. Oh, of course. I should have realized that Hyper Potion would have come into play. That did not do very much either. What? Ah, so much for Ghost. I guess Ghost isn't, like... W I guess Ghost is not, like, weak to Psychic. It's just strong against Psychic. Oh, man, this is not going well. I need to get some I need to get some damage going on here. There we go. Well, at least I got a critical hit now. gonna happen managed to hang on there though that's something and see the thing is is like here's the thing though Sla uh, let me do this since since I have a turn I can burn an item or something maybe maybe sky uppercut will do better Sig. Well, let's get DT out then, since DT can actually get some experience before it evolves at some point soon. And see, Steel does resist Psychic a bit too, so that's also something. Okay, um... do as much as I was hoping it would. Damn it! <sighs> I mean, they are higher level than me. That is something. They are higher leveled. Okay, so Slavko is going to have a phase where he loafs around here. again really quick. Okay. We should be fine. Just need to take down Lunatone. 
We have two Pokemon where he can do that. Actually, no. Let me do this. Since you have to loaf around anyway. Citrus berry, huh? So I think Slab's attacking this turn, so... It's gonna keep using Psychic on Bowser Girl, I can tell. Well... Bowser Girl's dead. Um, well, here, let me do this. I really hate that this battle went as bad as it did, but, eh, whatever. I don't actually have any revives, aside from a... Max revive. Eh, whatever. I'm going to use it on DT, since again, DT has some extra levels I want to give it. Okay, fine. Put Slavko to sleep. That's fun. DT should be able to handle this, since I don't think it has Flamethrower. So yeah, definitely not the best showing. I kind of forgot some of the moves that some of these Pokemon had. But I stand by that if Kip didn't die as early as he did, or faint as early as he did, we would have been a lot better off because that critical just came at a really bad time. What? Our combination was shattered? It can't be helped. You've won. So in recognition, take this. It's Slavko being an absolute beast to hanging on there in the way that he did. Also, I'm going to look something up really quick because I am curious. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah. Dusclops does get a new move, a new ability whenever he does evolve. So, uh, whenever it evolves, it gets pressure. Uh, the Mind Badge enhances the special attack and special defense of Pokemon. It also lets you use the HM move Dive outside of battle. You should also take this. So we get TM04. The TM04 contains Calm Mind. It raises special attack and it raises special defense. It's a move that's perfect for psychic Pokemon. I think it's perfect for other Pokemon too. Special attackers and defenders, anyway. But there we go. We've beat the seventh gym leader. We have seven gym badges. Like I said, it was kind of a rough fight. Some people do kind of consider Tate and Lias to be such a huge, like spike in difficulty for gym leaders. At least compared to like the last gym leader, for example. Like I mean that fight went like very easily. What's going on here? Team Magma. Yeah, so once you meet the gym, they'll actually appear here and Well, we know they're going to the space station, so let's stop them. Put DT back in front. Team Magma around. I guess strolls on the beach aren't safe. Team Aqua should take care of Team Magma. But if they did that, Team Aqua will become bold and brazen, won't they? 
A giant chunk of metal bursts through the skies and flies into space. But Team Magma wants to spoil that dream of mine. I'm not having any of that. I know that things are a little haywire right now, but the rocket launched safely. That's successful launch number 14. Those magma thugs have their sights set on the space center, but we can't allow anything that minor to interfere with our rocket launch. Okay, let's see what we got. As promised, we've come for the rocket fuel. So here we go, battling Team Magma. First up we have Zubats. This should be a one-shot. It was a one-shot against a Golbat earlier, I knew that much, so that's why I was felt pretty confident. And this should be a one-shot if it does hit, which it does. Sweet. Ran out of fuel. Indeed. We gave you fair warning. There's nothing sneaky about us. So I guess this is kind of similar to... Like, early in the game, or earlier when we did the Weather Institute with Team Aqua. So now we're doing the Team Magma version of it. Some of that effect, anyway. I don't know. Uh, this is maybe not the best idea because it is it is fire, but it's also ground. But takedown's not going to do anything. Grr, we should use sneaky treasure. <laughs> Oh, you haven't been using that? The rocket fuel of the space center is in storage. That's what we're after. We need to take every last bit of it. So here we have ball toy. But yeah, Tate and Liza, like, I mean, they're, they're actually really perfectly well set up for a double battle. When you really think about it, because like um, Claydol had Earthquake, but they also had like two Pokemon that had Levitate, and they also had Zatu, which is a flying type, so they're not affected. So Earthquake, which normally hits your like partner that's with you, that that, that never would have happened in that particular battle. So that's a um, Claydol was actually a pretty big threat in that battle. Well, I was kind of hoping I'd get rid of it first, but ended up not being the case. Our leader said no one but no one gets past me. And who are you? Oh, it's just another grunt. With another mighty Enna. Okay, Iron Tail... Hell yeah. Take a Numel or Numel. Oh, come on. Oh, Matt, that, that's going to hurt, actually. Yep. Also because it was uh, focus energy that also helped it out quite a bit too. Okay, let's hope those stats actually help me out. Not swagger. I don't like swagger. 
Come on, power through. Damn it! Still alive. Uh, <laughs> Do I have a hyper? I have a max potion. I also have a lot of hyper potions. I'll just use that. I really don't want DT to faint. I want him to really get this experience, so... I think I'm going to go with uh, Metal Claw here. Come on. Because my attack is increased, so... I just for some reason can't seem to get through him. This is a bad frickin' matchup. God. Come on. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank God. And that will do it for today's video. This has been Pokemon Trainer Rob, and I'll see you guys next time for our next Pokemon Emerald Adventure. See you guys then. Later, folks.